did you know that there's a creative way that authors can be using their Instagram page to have a really cool community with their followers to kind of create super fans. And it's just very easy for you to get in front of them without a lot of extra work from you. Okay, let me break this down for you. Inside of your Instagram stories, there is a spot where you can either post to everybody that follows you or to your close friends list. Now, typically people are using their close friends list for the people that they want to see like things that are more private, things that they don't want to put out to the general public, or they're like super close friends. And you as an author might have already done that. You might have just kind of popped things up to talk about announcements and like life things and things you just don't want out to the general public, but you could be using this so much smarter. It's how I use mine. I use it as an elite fan group. So my close friends are not my close friends. They are my elite fans, my literal fandom, not close friends, not people I chat with all the time, my super fans. And I give them exclusive access to behind the scenes things. So those people are getting access when they join my list, which is free to them to do, but I only allow people who are super fans, the ones who are watching all of my content, commenting on my content, who are asking good, valuable questions, who are a good part of the conversation in the community. I give them exclusive access to this and they get to see behind the scenes of what's going on. Inside of these closed door stories, I am giving them advanced looks at my books or letting them help me choose what I'm going to write next or giving their opinion on which of the book covers I should use for this next series. I am giving them behind the scenes of author life. I am letting them see me without makeup on at the end of the night just to chat with those people. These people are my elites and I'm very, very picky about who is allowed in there. And then because I am also giving them some personal information, so I'm allowing them to kind of peek behind the curtain and see what my life is actually like, like who I'm hanging out with, what I'm doing, what's going on in, you know, your your love life or in your life as a mom or whatever it happens to be. You're giving them that peek behind the curtain. They're getting exclusive access to you. They are getting the ability to feel that connection with you. And again, it's only the elites. And so I don't talk about it all the time. I'm very, very judicial about when I talk about this elites list because it's access to me that other people don't get. And it's, it's, stuff that I don't put out in the public. It is things that I'm only trusting these people with and they can't take it away and they can't go talk to other fans about it. Like this is exclusively for them. It is closed door. It is hush hush. It is, it is as close to me as you can get without being in my inner circle, without being like my family or my very closest friends. It is as close as they can get and as much access as anybody is going to get to me. I do not talk about my personal life in public, these people get a little bit of it. So you can use your close friends list to create a super fandom. You can show off early quotes from your book or even pages of your book. You can give them access to exclusive signed book sales that people are not going to get anywhere else, but they are going to get access to you know, cheaper versions of things. You're going to be able to like pull your new books out and say, it's a dollar less, but just for my elites. If you buy through my link and I'll give you the signed copy and whatever, you can use it to ask about characters. You can use it to show off character art early. You can use it to run ideas by them. You can use that to say, hey, do you guys remember when I wrote this thing? How did you feel about that? Or can somebody help me find the page where I did this? Like, this is, this is it. This is what our exclusive elite Facebook groups used to be five, six years ago, but it's now in story form and it only lasts for 24 hours and they can only see it if they are a close friend. And then if they're on that close friends list, your name, if you post something, gets a little green star and they know, oh, there's something exclusive. There's something secret that not everybody else is seeing it, but because I'm in this super fan group, I get access to it. And they're much more likely to go watch through all of your stories to get to that point. Close friends locks that down. So if you're smart as an author, you're going to use it to build up some area of your career. And it doesn't have to be like, a look into my personal life. It doesn't have to be, get to read the first chapter of the book early. It doesn't have to be any of that. It can be whatever you want it to be. Get creative with this. The more creative you make it, the more niche down you make it, the more people are going to want to join. And then every once in a while, mention it. I will go into my stories and be like, I am about to post a super fans only. So if you're on my super fans list, you are going to get to be able to know this thing in my next slide. And I warn them, it's coming. If you're not there, they then don't see that, but they know it's there and they know that it's existing. So then if I want, I can say, hey, listen, if 
If any of you want to join, go ahead and let me know and I can pick and choose. I don't have to accept everybody and I don't. I will tell you this much. I get a lot of men who follow like my social media, my Instagram stories that have asked to be in my elites and I will not let them. I do not want them there in my space. There are a couple of guys in the group, but like I, I really truly kind of like treat it like chatting with my besties. And so I don't want certain types of people, certain entities in there who are, I don't want that type of access to me. So I'm very judicial and very exclusive about who I allow in. And these, again, are people that I have to see have actively participated in my communities and my spaces who have read my books, who like my books, who want to see more of my books, who want to be involved in all of these things, who want to learn more about me, who want that like friendship access to me, but they're still fandom, not friend. So this is, this is where I get to have the people that I trust the most in my space to get exclusive and first access to me and to the things that I am doing. And I don't do it all the time. It's not something that I'm doing every single day. It's not something I'm even doing weekly. But when things pop up, do they get attention? So you author, be smart about this. Figure out how you can do something interesting. It's not the same as what I do. Don't copy me. People don't like copies. People don't like to see the same things from everybody. They want to see something interesting from you. So be unique about this. Do something interesting. Try it out. See how it works. And then add and remove people to that list as needed. They don't always have to stay there. And they don't get told if you remove them. So if you don't want them there anymore for whatever reason, you can just remove them. They don't know. They don't know when they, they're added and they don't know when they're removed. So you can do whatever you it's an amazing thing to do. Drop your questions in this down below. Drop your ideas for how you're going to leverage this down below so we can all get ideas down in the comment section and follow along for daily videos helping you navigate the world of author life from your writing to your publishing to your marketing to save yourself time and effort while making this your most profitable year ever so you can have the best author life while also still living your life. We'll see you in the upcoming episodes.